special delivery. I've got a letter for all the adults in the house. Hi, it's me, Steve. You probably didn't recognize me without the green striped shirt, but I'm here to introduce you to some friends of mine, the Blue's Clues family that you haven't met before. You think Steve's in there? Yeah. Hi, I'm Todd. I'm Angela. And I'm Tracy. And this is the fabulous staff of Blue's Clues. Hello. There are over 80 amazingly talented people who make Blue's Clues. And we want to show you all what we do and exactly what your children are learning from the show. So we're going to take you on a little tour of our world and show you how Blue's Clues is put together. This is probably a familiar scene in your home. Your kids watching Blue's Clues and talking back to the TV. But in the early stages of putting the show together, we didn't know then how influential the program would become. We just figured out Blue's Clues. You know what to do? Sit down in the pink chair, bang, bang, bang. Blue's Clues is a story-based game show for kids with an added twist. It's interactive. A clue! It's a clue, isn't it? Okay, just wait, I'll be right there. In this preschool world, a puppy named Blue steers the course of every show. Not everybody knows this, but Blue actually started out as a bunny first. And then she was a cat for a while. And then she ended up as a dog, and at first she was going to be orange, and then we knew we had it right when she became blue. You, the home viewer, are an actual character in the story. The preschooler who's watching Blue's Clues is the star of every episode. Do you see breakfast on our list? Cool. Yes. Yes! In that sense, it's almost like live theater. We're constantly thinking of new ways to be breakthrough with the education and with the storylines at Blue's Clues. We write for the preschooler in their point of view, and we're looking at their cognitive thinking skills and their problem solving. Mm -hmm. I love that what we're doing with Steve is that we're actually going to have him think about the fact that the kids at home always find the clues mm -hmm. first. Blue's Clues consults with educators, including professors at Teachers College at Columbia University. Wiggle your toes, move a little, move a little, wiggle your toes. Directors of daycare centers and school psychologists who read drafts of every script of every show. But the experts who carry the most weight with us are your kids. We actually take every episode of the show into preschoolers who are our experts three to four times during the production of an episode. A clue, a clue, a clue. On the box. There's a clue? Yeah. Where is it? Right there. Oh, right here. Where is it? Right there. Where is it? Right there. Our third clue, and it's on this, what is this? Drawer. What's really interesting about preschoolers is that they're absorbing information as they experience life. So what I like to do when I go into school is just watch them play. What we try to do at Blue's Clues is teach kids at different levels. In Blue's Big Musical, the games become progressively more complex. A three-year-old may be challenged by making associations in the Putting It Together game, whereas a five-year-old can wrestle with more abstract concepts like songwriting. Where's that noise coming from? If you've ever wondered why we show the same episode every day for a week, there's a reason for that too. Preschoolers learn through repetition. And we have statistically significant results that say um, kids who watch Blue's Clues are actually um, doing that much better on standardized tests, kindergarten readiness tests, than kids who aren't watching the show. We found that the younger preschoolers were mimicking the actions presented by Steve. The preschoolers are really our experts in all departments. They really impact 
every single aspect of the show. Today's the day. Today's the day. What kind of day? What kind of day? The kind of day. A day. A day. A day. For you can be anything you want to be. The movie you just saw, Blue's Big Musical, incorporates all the learning of a normal episode, but goes a step further with the storylines in the games. There are a lot more layers to the show than meet the eye. Blue's Big Musical was written really to embody what it's like to have your own backyard show. We would go in the backyard and we'd put on a little show and we'd invite our friends to come over. Come here, I want to show you the stage to Blue's Big Music Show. It's really cool. This is the camera room. Here's the fabulous stage with props of Steve's house. So we're hoping that your kids, when they turn off Blue's Big Music Show, will be inspired to do music shows of their own. One of the reasons that a lot of the characters on Blue's Clues are household objects is because to preschoolers, the ordinary is extraordinary. And I know myself as a preschooler, I would talk to my clocker, you know, talk to the fork and spoon, and they can become characters. Here we have Mr. Salt. He's easily put together. And then with this basics, I can make Mr. Salt be surprised. <gasps> Once we have the pieces, we can lay them all out separately. And then we shoot it in with the digital camera, and then they're put together in digital design once they're in the computer. Here's Mr. Salt that we shot in. Alex put him together, so say hi, Mr. Salt. <laughs> so basically, all the characters on Blue's Clues have the simple design of two little dots for eyes or googly eyes, and you can take these eyes and have an instant character, as in Mr. Three Hole Punch. Hello. Squishy pillow face guy. <laughs> hi, squishy pillow face guy. <laughs> hey, Steve, how you doing? Good to see you. Normal chicken, scared chicken. <laughs> Look at that fuzzy head guy. Huh? And uh, so that's pretty much the way you make anything extraordinary with googly eyes. All right, you ready? <laughs> we are the good one. We are the first step in producing the world of Blue's Clues starts rather appropriately on the blue screen. The most challenging part of what I do on Blue's Clues is working on the blue screen because I have to create that whole world in my mind. <laughs> Steve is the first element that we basically create. When we're on set, he's in a blue world. Putting it together. I have to react to these um, characters, which aren't yet animated. There's a lot of crazy things that happen on set, and we all try to do things to sort of keep the momentum up, keep it fun and exciting, because we're trying to produce something that's fun and exciting. Here at the Blue's Clue Studio, we have over 30 digital designers and animators who help put the show together. Say hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> For me, it's really great to come to the office after we've been shooting, because um, there's 150 million computers around here, and, and I, I get to see the animation start to develop. It's like watching a cast show up for uh, a show. Put it together as well. Put it together. This is gonna be a great stage. One of the characters that really comes to life in the animator's world is Blue. So Blue started as a simple cutout, and as you can see here, some early renditions of her. But because she was the co-host of Blue's Clue, she needed to show much more emotion. So thank goodness we found Dave Palmer, who is master illustrator and animator, and he brought Blue to life. Because Blue had to be so expressive and do so many different things on screen, um, we needed a, a design for our preschool audience. She had to be really huggable and comforting, and there's nothing more huggable than a circle. So I based my designs on, on Tracy's, but basically I, I just added more circles. We love the warm puppy tummy. <laughs> There's one character on the show that's a little more subtle, but it's crucial to the quality and the spirit of the show, and that's the music. Mike Rubin and Nick Balaban compose all of the music for Blues Clues. With the preschool age group, I really feel like we are free to bring them music from any time, any place, any culture, um, and they'll be open to it. Michael, come get a maraca, yes. It's, it's the wonderful thing about children of this age, they're sort of hearing everything for the first time. We hope that the kids come away with an excitement for all the elements of music. The great majority of music that you hear on Blues Blues is played by actual people on the actual instruments. Today's the day. What kind of day? The kind of day. A day. For you can be anything you want to be. Let's 
go. On the same note, we got the best of the best to perform the songwriting game in Blue's Big Musical. Ray Charles is G-Clef, and the persuasions are the notes. <laughs> That's some good stuff, man. Uh, if it wasn't for my, my son, who's six years old, then uh, I wouldn't have ever watched Blue's Clues, but I like Blue's Clues. Uh, I like Blue, I like Steve, I know where the clues are. All you gotta do is ask me and I'll point right to the TV <laughs> and I'll tell you where it's at. It's It's so wonderful. One of the last ingredients that's added to the mix is the voice of Blue. And one of the creators literally gives her her voice. So there are many things I love about my job, but the one thing that I absolutely love the most is being the voice of Blue. Just me and the blue puppy, and we get to sit in a room, and I just get to look at her and become her. Steve, the neighbors are coming. In fact, many of the voices of the characters come from the Blue's Clues family. Excellent. I play a mailbox on the show, or mailbox, who's sort of a, uh, a cross between uh, Ethel Merman, uh, Edith Bunker, and uh, the Pepperidge Farm guy. You know, uh, I remember those chocolate cookies. And uh, Nick plays uh, Mr. Salt. Who is, uh, Mr. Salt? Kind of like, uh, Mr. Salt. Ah! Between Yves Montand and Pepe Le Pew. Ooh, that, that feels, feels better. better. Hello, Steve. Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper are the parents on the show and are played by adults. Adios. But for our real kid voices, we of course use real kids. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like Keanu Reeves. Whoa. Side Table Drawer is shy, and shy is a great story for kids because I think all kids experience it to, to some degree. It's about kind of coming out of your shell and finding out who you are. If my friends never know, I'm too shy to even try. The characters on Blue's Clues may be inanimate objects, but they represent real-life preschoolers and the challenges they face. I just want to sing, 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 sing in the show. The philosophy of the show is celebrating and really focusing in on those little everyday moments in a preschooler's life. One of the best things about Blue's Clues is hearing about the impact it's having on your kids. Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. This is the part that we like to call mail time. Here we have Nicholas Thorne. Hey, Nicholas, thank you. Sent me a little picture of him dressed up as Blue. That's very nice. Here's a younger child eating his own hand. Gotta like that. Taylor, obviously prefers to work in watercolor. My favorite letter I ever got said, Dear Steve, I want to be a pizza. Bye. That was my favorite letter I ever got. Ultimately, we're all preschoolers at heart, and that's one of the driving forces of the spirit of the show. Every day, I think we really play. I'm constantly playing out what Shovel and Pail um, might be going through or what Blue is going through. Essentially, I feel like I still am a preschooler. And what I'm watching now, I'm watching as my preschool self. And I think I'd love the show. If Blue's Clues was around when I was a kid, would I be a different person? <sighs> I think what the Blue's Clues is trying to teach kids uh, about life and about the world around them is to, to keep an open mind, to, to always be exploring if there's a door, to, to open it, if there's a rock, to look under it. The preschoolers really can be anything that they want to be and they can do anything that they want to do. And all of that is meant in the context of hope and believing in themselves. That's really it. It's get excited about learning things and use your mind. Now it's time for so long 
but we'll sing one more song. Now it's time for so long. Ba -da, da, da. <laughs> but we'll sing one more song. Thanks for doing your part. You sure are smart. You know, with me and you and my dog Blue, we can do anything that we want to do. Thank <laughs> you.